In this week's Retro Pop Culture News, we're going to talk about a live-action Frogger game show. It's coming up. Also, there's a CGI Rugrats reboot that's in the works, and we have a lot more news to talk about, so don't turn that down. Uh. <laughs> in 1981, there was a game called Frogger. I remember it really well because I actually got one with my Atari 2600 for Christmas back in the 80s, but never in all of my years did I think that they would be making a live-action game show, but it is actually happening. The streaming service Peacock is actually making a live-action Frogger game, and it's going to have contestants compete in 12 different themed obstacle courses. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be dodging real cars or anything like that on the show, but I could definitely see them doing something similar to, like, crossing streets and having to dodge different obstacles or jumping on, like, foam logs to, uh, to get across the finish line. I'm picturing a cross between maybe Wipeout and American gladiator while this idea is a little wild i'm real interested in checking it out and i can't think of a cooler way to turn something like a arcade game into a game show um, i would like to see maybe like marble madness where you're in a ball and you have to navigate down like this multi-level course or even a pitfall game show that would be really cool but what do you think about this news and would you want to be a contestant on a frogger game show if you had the chance and is there any games that you would like them to make into a game show then next up, I have some retro movie and TV news for you guys. So Hulu is working on a Mike Tyson miniseries, and Tyson is really not very happy about it. It's actually going to delve into both the good and the bad parts of his life, and it may even address some of the spousal abuse and the prison time that Tyson did back in the day. Tyson said that he's working on his own authorized biography, and it's going to be interesting whether he's going to cover some of those lows in his career, as well as those great times that we remember from the 80s and 90s. How it's going to compare to this Hulu one, I really don't know, but I'm interested to see it. Regardless, I've always enjoyed watching Mike Tyson fights from the time that I was a kid in the 80s, even more recently watching him fight Roy Jones Jr. recently. So this is going to be real interesting to see. And next up, there was a short teaser for a new Rugrats reboot that's coming in 2021. Um, I'll link to it down below, but I for one enjoyed seeing the Rugrats crew in CGI. And since they're bringing back some of the original voice actors for this new reboot, this should be something really fun to check out when it premieres. If you are a Rugrats fan, let me know what you thought about this new teaser trailer. And if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out and then come back and let me know what you thought. Then New Line Cinema announced that they're working on making a Hello Kitty movie. It's being described as an animated live action hybrid. And this Hello Kitty movie is likely going to be bringing the animated version of the popular cartoon cat into the real world. Sort of like they did with the Tom and Jerry movie. There's no plot details released on this one yet, but I'll let you guys know if I find out more. Finally, if you're into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video right there. I'll catch you on the flip side, and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.